part two of the West Pennine Way starts with another brew at the Rivington, a tea room and bar, formerly Rivington Bowling Club. Lots of outside seating has been added this year with great views over Rivington Reservoir. Open from 10 and closed on Mondays. Directly across is Rivington Brew Tap, a real ale farm. There are five reservoirs, Rivington Upper, Rivington Lower, Angles Arc, the Yarrow and Bullow. Heading along the upper reservoir, then to the right along Dean Brook and up to the Yarrow Reservoir. The reservoirs were built to supply water for Liverpool and three farms lay within the site of the new reservoirs. A 100 acre farm at the head of the valley was owned by Thomas Allens and the farmhouse was situated next to this bridge. The hamlet of Allens is now beneath the waters of the Yarrow. Heading across the field through Drinkall's farm to Manor House, dated 1604, now a Grade 2 listed building. Good boy, good boy. Hello, good boy, good boy. The manor house was originally known as High Bullow and Wilkinson Bullow Farm was standing at least as early as 1626. In 1850 Thomas Pilkington lived at Manor House and he sold land to Chorley Water Company to build High Bullow Reservoir. This is a nice woodland walk, several bridges are going across here, the stream. Oh, I've come up to the, uh, the reservoir, I think. Oh, I think it's over there. Yeah, back into the woods again, I think. Not up there, I don't think. Down here. There's a strange sign on a public footpath. No walkers. Oh, 
I think this part too could be called the reservoir walk really. It's a funny word, reservoir. Funny French word, isn't it? Reservoir, eh? Reservoir, reservoir. Rivington Chain with Angles Art Reservoir in the foreground by Frederick William Hume, painted in 1872. out again. Wonderful. Oh, a bench. That's a must have. Not better. Waterman's Cottage, the man who looks after the water, was also known as Heapy Cottage, a Tudor style cottage built by Liverpool Corporation on the west bank of the reservoir. It was occupied by Dennis and Anne Ogden in the 1940s and Dennis was the man that looked after the water. This is Black Brook, where a water wheel here powered a cotton mill. Ooh, that's yummy. a good one, isn't it? That's good. Back up we go. Oh, look, a dipper. Actually, it's a grey wagtail. can see uh, I've been bitten by I think it's a horse why but uh, I've had a bit of a reaction to it my hand has come up like a balloon so this is the Fox Go Cafe normally a nursery through the week what they do uh, breakfast and things on a Saturday and Sunday. 
a nosy at this. Mill Lodge later provided water for a steam engine for the cotton mill. Coming into the White Coppice Cricket Ground. Yeah. Beautiful whitewashed cottages overlooking the cricket pitch. Just in the corner. Post cottage. Oh, sorry, Rose Cottage. Let's go to Specsavers. From the back of the cricket club is the route up to Great Hill Summit following Black Brook and over to Roddlesworth. are from 1776 when John Hollinshead built a new house on the site. The well house has a spring feeding two stone troughs. Well, this is a perfect day to be in the woods. It's a really hot day but nice and cool here in the woods. That's a good bird call. Bird call. Not had that one before, I'll have to look that one up. Do it again for us. Right on cue, thank you. Well, this is very peaceful for a Friday afternoon. You can hear all the busy traffic in the distance. Well, it's nice to be away from it. I thought I'd spotted a strange bird then, but it's a piece of wood. Oh yeah. Oh well. I'm sure it's steppy, that's all right. Some bird there, steppy. I've got to show a few bits that aren't part of the trail. But uh, look, worth looking at around uh, Roddlesworth Woods. Pick up the uh, Darwin Tower. Too far? Might be. Centre now. And here we are at the Roddlesworth Information Centre and the end of part two 
and the start of part three. Lambeth Country Cafe. Seven days a week, nine till three. I'm going to take the drone up and uh, see if we can get a look at the three Roddlesworth reservoirs. Uh, they're connected to the chain of reservoirs, the Angles Arc and Rivington, via the Goit Canal, which is actually man made. It looks like a, a natural uh, river or stream. These no longer supply water to Liverpool, these three reservoirs here. Uh, they now belong to United Utilities and uh, they supply Wigan.